Welcome to our second video about uh, Google Play Store and in the previous video I showed you how to create your Google Play Store console account and in case you haven't watched that video please check it in the description also that is popping up and uh, today in this video I'm going to show you how you can be able to upload your Android application and have it live on the Play Store also I will be able to show you how to do the best test track in case you created your account recently and all this is going to be sorted from the beginning up to the end so without further ado let's get started let's assume that you've already created your account and you're logged in now come down create app then give your application a name select your preferred language is it an app or it's a game is it paid or free and don't have to worry this will be able to change later on as you work on your application also accept the declarations the developer program policies and us export laws then create application now it brings you automatic to the dashboard there are two ways you can be able to complete this one you can follow the dashboard follow these parts internal testing finish settings close and production however there's also another way you can actually be able to follow using the sidebar which i would encourage you to use because if you use the, the dashboard some buttons may disappear especially after the production so let's learn to use the sidebar now this let's go to monitor and improve and then you go to policy and programs let's start with the app content we start with the privacy policy you're going to put the privacy policy then this is not a must but you also have you must add the privacy policy if your target audience includes children under 13 so let me just put this for learning purposes you just have to put some link save once done go back now ads will your app display ads or not mine will display ads this is what will be showing people when they are downloading your application go back app access now is your app available without any access restrictions or are some restrictions scroll and go back content ratings you start a declaration here so you're going to answer a few questions following this questionnaire accept start this then you're going to give the email address where people who are doing the reviews will be able to contact you then the app category set a game social media or other app then you also have to agree terms and conditions next is does the app contain please make sure that you read some of these things and this i can say no because it doesn't contain any of this user content sharing does the app natively allow users to interact mine no online content you best just depends on what you're going to do so i'm going to be selecting mine so you realize most of all the things are not applicable to my application so once once done come down and click save then go next so we're done with this rating you can go ahead and save go back target audience you need to declare this what is the target audience for your app what age let me give an example if you put below five years you see there are some policies so mine is above 18 actually 13 and above and be able to use the application save so we can click back next also need to declare the data safety so you see an overview you're going to read all this if you have enough time then you go to next so you're going to ask data collection does your app collect or share any of the required user data so now you have to comply with the data safety for example the first question here is let me go back so you have to read through this you have to understand everything properly then you go to next now the app is asking if does the app collect share or required user data you either say yes or no so and it's encrypted then you also have to select the method of account creation if it does not ask users to create account you can just say no can users log into your app with with account created outside the app no so all this is applicable based on just read it it varies depending on which application i'm not going to read everything but i'm just going to select what's applicable to my application so you need to read all this and see what's applicable to you so once you've understood go next then you will see data collection and security if your app collects the data of the users one if you select it no you find most of the question but if you say yes you'll get a lot of other questions so you be making the choice carefully so for my case it's just a testing app i'm not going to collect any data however maybe over time i'll be able to update some of these policies and then once you're done with that you can click on these three dots and click save go back so you're also declaring the advertising id start declaration and you read through this does your app app use advertising id so probably yes i may accept this this time 
and we use only for advertising go back government apps this is straightforward if your application is for government you say yes if it is not you say no back financial features if you app offers any financial features so on my case i don't have any financial related things so once you finish with that come down here click on the three dots and save go back then one declaration health apps if your app deals with anything health related please select all that applicable mine does not save go back perfect so we have done with this app data and you can realize that everything we have done you can be able to make any changes in case there's anything that you feel like you did in a wrong way so all of them are right here now we'll know now go back to another part we can be able to go back to the dashboard and see what haven't we done if you look at this this is almost all done so we can now come to manage how your app is organized and presented so i'm going to click on this app category and provide contact details so now the category of an application we already selected it earlier and it is uh, but we can still come back to the section edit then you select is an app and then the category mine is supposed to be tools yes that's okay then you save and then tags you can come and pick the tags here what kind of tool is this if it's education you select education whatever you're going to use it for mine is actually is tool and productivity if i could get anything like productivity yeah productivity i can put it then just general tools i think that's all then apply now you see it is productivity and tools then store listing contact details you also have to make sure that they're available on your app so what is the email address for the app then the phone number for the app and you also put the website save it you close this so you can see this is also done let's go back to the dashboard and now you can see all this is sorted so we're going to set up the store listing now you can again have opportunity to give your app a name in case you wanted to change then a short description and a full description so for this case i'm just going to use some ai to generate this i'm use chat gpt and i just paste this here just for learning Just something like this i'm just going to search for this i'm going to copy this so focus on this has uh the keywords that will be used by it can also help in the seo maybe when people are searching for a specific application so please make sure that you you put something which is reasonable so i put this here you can also be able to extend this in case it's not enough space for you you can see i've used about to 1699 words so this is perfectly okay for me and now you also have to put the app icon the feature graphic and url in case you have a video about this for me i have a video already that is uh, how to remove the vba password i'm going to my channel and um, i'm going to look for it should be around somewhere here this video is here in case you haven't watched and you also want you also have a vba password please you can also watch this video so i'll put the video here then i also have the assets that are here i designed using illustrator in case you need to know how to design the icon and all this you can actually put in the comment section then i'll be able to make a video how you can do this so to upload this uh assets or graphics just click on add assets then you'll be able to see this you're going to click upload and locate where is it in your directory i have it here images then this is the icon so i i think i did crop it well i have to again crop it to make sure that it fits where they want it to be perfect now they have accepted this image as i cropped it so once you're done with that so once they have approved like this it's a tick you just press this arrow here now you can see it's now here and you add see that is done then you come to the graphics that is a graphic image you also click so if you also have the videos you can be able to add them but i think for this particular video i don't have those videos right now so once you finish with everything you come to the three dots 
and click save perfect so you can see we have finished everything then you can go back and if you come to the dashboard you see it's ready to send for review but we have to do one thing let's go back to the dashboard and you can see internal testing we haven't done anything here if you look at this you have to select about 20 testers for to run the test of your application then you can go ahead and create a new release then after that we also going to do the close testing and then finally this button of production will be activated so let me show you first quickly how you can add the, the internal testing and the close test so internal testing you're going to select select testers and then you have put in to select some of the testers that are already there but you can create your own emailing list because we don't know who are the people using this so i'm just going to create a new emailing list then you give the name maybe i can say vba unlocker then you're going to give a list of you can upload the csv file but you can also put the email addresses right here so i think i'm going to use email addresses you have to put at least a good number at least up to i think 20 number of testers that you have to put in this section so you press enter once you've entered you can see you'll be able to see how many have you entered so far so you see i've entered about five of them so i will be able to add these others later but just let's move to the next part then you create perfect now so once we publish our app this link will be available so i'm going to move to the next section let me first save this then we come to releases then we can be able to create a release now this is the most important part we need to upload the bundles so now this section i already have my app here and you see when you're uploading uh publishing your app in the play store we don't use apk we use aab file so you can see this is vba unlocker.aab this file i developed it using android studio as you can see here this is exactly how the app is let me use the one on the desktop vba unlocker then i'm just going to drop it's now uploading so this may take some short time now i have a problem the app bundle must be signed so i have to go back to android studio and generate the one which is signed so this is my app so i go back to android build then generate signed app bundle or apk and then i'm going to next make sure it's app bundle next then keystroke so keystroke um keystore pass i just have to maybe create a new one then i'm going to click on this i think i want to put it on the desktop and use this yes save it there i can call it vba unlocker save now you see it brings this the password we're going to put some password then this key alliance maybe i may say vba key confirm the password so i can also use a different one here or the same how many years validity let me pass leave it 25 years then the certificate name when put in my name organizational unit it's a uh, i software development unit sdu then organizations is arosoft innovations uganda 256 perfect now let me allow to remember the passwords next then create so you see it's running perfect it has already been successfully created and i can be able to locate the application it's here app release beautiful now i'm going to move this and drop it to my application here so we will shall remove this and carry this one perfect you see this has accepted the levels 23 and above or oh, api levels and everything is perfectly fine so once this is done you can even be able to view the details right here in case you wanted to see 
you see the everything air play balls the locality supported see i think almost all countries and everything is perfectly very fine once this is okay you can close this and the version is automatically put and uh, now you go to next and there are some few errors that we need to fix again here there's a warning here well, image for version code is not good we need to fix that so we need to update the declaration here advertising id let's turn off the errors then save we go back perfect let's go back to the dashboard and we review is everything is okay you can see the testers we've selected two out of three this is okay out of this option so we now go to this section of preview and confirm release very good we can now preview every section of this you can also be able to see the testers so once this is okay now close testing we still have more to do once you everything is okay you can see the app is now here but we need to finish a few other things like close testing you come to the section and select the regions where the app is supported you can add the countries and then you can select specific if you want a few countries you can select the countries but for me i want to to be available in our entire globe then you save it then we go to testers you can include the, the testers list i'm going to use the same vba unlocker save it then email at url for for testers you can also be able to leave it blank if you want but it's very important to put the then you save it you come to release 